Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a Sin City effect in the Fendi photo. For those of you who never saw Sin City, it's a movie that premiered in 2005. The film took a modern take on the film noir or neo-noir genre of crime films from the 1940s and 50s. Other names that the Sin City effect go by are film noir effect and solo color effect. This effect turns an image black and white with the exception of one color. In addition, this is also a type of color correction technique. First, go to File Open and select the picture of the man on the motorcycle. With the image still selected, press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate, or right click on the image and select Duplicate. Name the original layer Original. Next, select the duplicated image. Then, select the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and click Black and White. In the Layers panel, drag the Adjustment layer inside of the duplicated image layer. With the Black and White adjustment still selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer or right click on the layer and select Duplicate. Now, select the original Black and White adjustment layer. Set the blend mode of this layer to soft light. This will add more contrast to the image. After that, grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. In the swatches panel, make sure your black color is active. Next, go to the brushes panel and select the 128 pixel round soft brush. Then in the layers panel, select the duplicated black and white adjustment layer. We're now going to paint in the color we want to show. In this case, that color is red. Take the brush and paint over the man's shirt to reveal his color. If you need to increase the size of the brush, press the right bracket key. Press the left bracket key to decrease the size of the brush. Also, if you select an area you didn't want to select, go to the swatches panel and select the white color. Then go over the unwanted area to cover it back up and then switch back to the black color. Once you've revealed the red in the shirt, take the brush and go to the motorcycle to reveal the red parts of it. If you need to see the red parts of the bike, click the background layer on and off to help you to select the right areas. I'm going to speed up the video here to select the rest of the bike parts. Now, let's add some more contrast to the image. Go to the Layers panel and select the Adjustments icon. Click the Curves Adjustment. Add a point in the middle. Then, drag the point slightly down and to the right. In the Layers panel, drag the Curves Adjustment inside of the background layer. 
which is our duplicated image layer. Next, select the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel to add a new pixel layer. Make sure the pixel layer is at the top of everything. With the pixel layer selected, go to the Swatches panel. Select the black 60% color. Then, go to the Edit menu and select Fill with Primary Color. This will fill the pixel layer with a grayish color. After that, select the Filled Pixel Layer. Go to the Filters menu. Next, go to Colors and Halftone. Set the screen to line, the cell size to 80, and the contrast to 85. Then hit apply. Label this layer halftone in the layers panel. With the halftone layer selected, press Ctrl and stretch the halftone layer vertically. Then press Ctrl again and stretch the layer horizontally. Hold Shift and rotate the layer slightly to the right by negative 30 degrees. Now set the blend mode of the layer to multiply and lower the opacity to 30%. These lines give the impression that there's a window somewhere else in the room and the lines are the blinds. Next, go to the Layers panel and click Add Pixel Layer to add another pixel layer. Then go to the Edit menu and select Fill with Secondary Color. The pixel layer should be filled with black. Go to the Filters menu. Next, go to Noise and Add Noise. Set the intensity to 50%. Make sure Gaussian is selected and that Monochromatic is checked. In the Layers panel, set the blend mode of this layer to soft light and lower the opacity to 30%. Label this layer Noise. This just adds a little more grittiness to the image. In the Layers panel, select the Background layer, the Halftone layer, and the Noise layer. Press Ctrl and G to group these layers together. Label this group Sin City. Another way you can create the Sin City effect is by creating the single color yourself by adding it to an image. This is what we're going to do for the next image. Go to File Open and select the image of the couple in the parking garage. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the image. Label the original image as original. We'll add our black and white adjustments like we did for the other image. Now, go to the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the black and white adjustment. Drag this adjustment inside of the background layer. Next, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the adjustment layer. Then, select the original adjustment layer. Set the blend mode to soft light to add more contrast to the image. After that, go to the adjustments icon and select the curves adjustment. Like before, add a point in the middle of the line and drag it slightly down to the right. Select the background layer, then grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and select the man's shirt. When you get to the necklace part, change the Mode to Subtract to remove the necklace from the selection. After selecting the man's shirt, take the brush and select the woman's shirt. Make sure you have the Add Mode selected. Once you've done that, go to the Context Toolbar and select Refine. Set the Output to New Layer with Mask and hit Apply. Now, go to the Adjustments icon and select the Curves Adjustment. Drag the adjustment inside the Shirt layer. Label this layer Shirt and turn the background layer back on. With the Curves Layer dialog box still open, go to the Red Channel. We're now going to add red to the image by changing the color of the shirts from white to red. Add the same points to the line that you see on the screen. You can play around with this and add a different color if you don't want to use red.
Next, go to the green channel. Add the points of this channel like you see on the screen. You can also play around with this to add a different color. After that, go to the blue channel. Add the following points you see on the screen. In the Layers panel, go to the Adjustments icon and select the HSL Adjustment. Drag the adjustment inside of the shirt layer if it's not inside this layer. Select the red channel. Set the Hue Shift to 5 degrees, Saturation Shift to 60%, and Luminosity Shift to negative 5%. Next, select the Magenta channel. Set the Hue Shift to negative 20 degrees, and the saturation shift to 28%. With the shirt layer still selected, click the mask layer icon to add a mask to this layer. We want to get rid of the unnecessary red parts that were added to the image, such as the woman's pinky nail and on the man's chain. Grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. Make sure the new mask layer is selected in the layers panel. Also, make sure that the black color is active in the swatches panel. Take the brush and go over the woman's hand to remove any red parts. Then take the brush and do the same thing for the man's necklace. You can increase the brush size by pressing the right bracket key and decrease the brush size by pressing the left bracket key. In addition, move the red areas that appeared on the man's waist area. Now we'll add the halftone and noise filters the same way we did with the other image. Go to the Layers panel and click the Add Pixel Layer. Make sure this layer is at the top of everything. Label the layer Halftone. Then go to the Swatches panel and select the black 60% color. Now, go to the Edit menu and select Fill with Primary Color. Next, go to the Filters menu. Select Colors and Halftone. Set the screen to Line. Cell Size to 80. And the Contrast to 85. Hit Apply. Press Ctrl and Shift and stretch the Halftone layer. This will stretch the image from all sides while keeping the proportions of the layer. Now, hold shift and rotate the layer to about negative 45 degrees. In the Layers panel, set the blend mode of the halftone layer to multiply and set the opacity to 40%. After that, go to the Layers panel and click the Add Pixel Layer. Label this layer Noise. In the Swatches panel, select the black color. With the Noise layer still selected, go to the Filters menu. Select Noise and add Noise. The settings should still be the same as before. Intensity 50%, select the Gaussian, and check Monochromatic. Set the Blend Mode of the Noise layer to Soft Light, then lower the Opacity to 20%. Let's add some brightness to the man's face. Select the background layer in the Layers panel. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. Take the brush and make a selection of the man's face and neck area. Now, go to the Layers panel and select the Adjustments icon. Then, select the Brightness and Contrast adjustment. Set the brightness to 60%. Press Ctrl and D to deselect the selection, or go to the Select menu, then click Deselect. And this is how to create a Sin City effect in Affinity Photo. 
If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.